the leaven that carries message to Christ. The loving, they are lovely, caring, and kind. Thank you, sisters, for your love and guidance. Good morning. I, Kangna Sharma of Class 11 Science, wish you a very happy feast day. Prayer is a link that connects us with God. So for prayer, I would like to call Drishti. Prayer. Dear God, we bring to you all the sisters working in our school and all over the world to you. Shower your spiritual bounty on them. Keep them energetic so that they always move ahead on their path of spirituality and humanity that they have taken as their mission. Bless them and keep them always under your guidance and protection. May they brighten the world with your teachings and touch every mind and soul coming in contact with your love and vision. Help them on every step of their holy vocation. This prayer I ask in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Drishti. Now I'd like to invite our senior students to honor our sisters. I would like to invite Avishi Derasarya, the deputy head girl, and the Lokesh Kumavat, the deputy head boy, to honor Sister Mariola. I would like to invite Jessica Lamba and Mrigenka Lawrence, our cultural head, to honor Sister Marilyn. I would like to invite Karni Pratap and Navashri Sharma, the sports head of our institution, to honor Sister Anjana. Thank you so much. Now to express our gratitude towards sister, here comes Krish. On 14 September, every year, the Mission Sisters of Ajmer, also known as Sophia Sister, celebrate the feast of the exaltation of the cross. Have you ever wondered why the sisters hang a cross round their necks on a silver chain? Why do they do that? Because Jesus Christ was put to death on the cross more than 2000 years ago by his enemies. His enemies could accept that he was truly the son of God. Why should the cross be exalted or raised up? In ancient time, the cross was a symbol of shame. Only criminals were put to death on the cross. But ever since Jesus willingly agreed to die on the cross, this very cross became for all mankind the sign of victory, victory over evil. In 4th century, Saint Heliana found the true cross on which Christ died. This is now preserved in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. This church was dedicated by the Constantine, the great Roman Emperor, on 14 September. The Mission Sisters of Ajmer have as their motto, Let the cross shine on the barren mountain. With this mo motto, the sisters have a powerful presence all over India, very especially in the education field. They also run hospitals, dispensaries, training centers, village outreach, prison ministry, etc. Let us thank God for our sisters and pray that they be blessed with good health. Now let us greet our loving sisters. Sisters, Mission Sisters of Ajmer. They are known as a Mission Sisters of Ajmer. Their main motto was to educate girl child. The founder, Bishop Henry Fotunatus Komo, had come to Rajasthan. At that time, it was Rajputana. And his two sisters also came. His sister, Mother Matilda, also became nun and she took up the cause to educate girl child because those days in Rajputana area, which is now Rajasthan, Rajput girls were not allowed to go out for studies and Bishop Fortunatus Como was good friend of those time, the Raja Maharajas, 
and they allowed his sister to take up that cause and to teach the girl child and children and that's why we have lot of properties are given by raja maharajas to mission sisters of ajmer at least for sure i know the mount abu school which is now presently running is the fort of raja maharajas and like that they had given lot of place and opportunity for these sisters to teach girl children so for more uh, to enlighten you all i invite sister mariola to speak some more about mission sisters of ajmer their congregation and their charism dear reverend father francis sisters marilyn and sister anjana dear teachers and my loving students i feel so happy to stand here and before that sitting there to be greeted by you one and all by the press service by the happy feast day song by cards greeting cards potted plants decorations and above all your hearts full of love i know you are not just brought to this auditorium to sit there but you are here to express your love for us i can see it in your expressions even while i was walking up to this stage <clears throat> so thank you very much it means a lot to us when we come here to an educational institute we just don't come as teachers we come as sisters to you and sisterhood means that we are anointed consecrated women what do you mean by anointed and consecrated we are specially chosen by jesus it is a call that we receive early in life in our teen years or a little later and we are inclined and drawn towards this way of life which is not getting married remaining single and consecrated to the lord to serve human kind it's not that everyone in our family becomes a nun or a priest no sometimes we have one or two sometimes we are the only ones who respond to god's call it's not our choice it's god's call first and then we respond knowing nothing of what awaits us when i came to rajasthan i knew nothing about rajasthan except what i read in my geography book in school that it's a desert i knew nothing about religious life when i left home at the age of 22 of course i had a government job from the age of 18 i worked for 3 years i resigned i came here to rajasthan with a group of we were 12 of us then sister marilyn was one of them we were together from the year 1979 and we have been serving in other places of course sister anjana came much later she is far younger than the two of us now what is this feast of the exaltation of the cross as you have heard one of your senior students telling you that it's raising the cross and why the cross why do we hang this round our necks from what you have heard of jesus christ did he commit any crimes did you hear of any crimes that he committed have you read of any criminal stories of his no okay but he had his enemies good people do have their share of enemies everywhere if you are good you will also have friends and a few enemies so they were against him because he claimed to be son of god he they said how can god have a son who is in the form of a human being they couldn't understand these great mysteries 
they could not they were happy when he worked miracles of giving eyesight to the blind of of healing the lame bringing the dead back to life taking away the devil from those who were possessed and under evil influence he did many wonders he multiplied bread and with seven loaves of bread he was able to feed 5000 people on three occasions that's what the bible says okay the miracle of sharing food or bread and feeding the hungry and many more so if he did so many good things why did they have to kill him that to on a cross i told you because they were jealous envious the religious leaders did not want an opponent someone who would be higher than them okay because people were flocking to jesus and so they had to find some way crooked ways to put him to death no justice could be done because it was willed by his heavenly father that he should die in that way and he accepted it he accepted that will of his father and went through that horrible death on the cross we are proud that we have the cross as a motto let the cross shine everywhere where christ is not known and so when you look at us sisters i hope you will find representatives of christ okay even when we scold you even when we correct you i hope you will realize we are like your mothers not your enemies okay i see so many of you coming with stomach ache to me maybe even to the other two sisters so many other problems parents bring and say my child is not happy at home do something for him and after some time they are well a little kindness a little counseling we don't do magic but you know we represent christ and so christ works through us and our wish for you is that we hope that you will take advantage of this wonderful education that is done under the leadership of reverend father francis in st paul school i hope you will make maximum use of this good education and be someone in life someone who will make the world a better place to live in on that note i say once again thanks and god bless you we christians have a great importance of the cross and we are known for peace justice non violence though we are very less in percentage in india but then the impact through education medical and social field we have given christ to the people because the christ has suffered he sacrificed and he accepted the will of the father and that's what every christian is called to be a man of sacrifice dedicated himself to god and accepting everything as the will of god and especially we have sisters here who are working and their motto is to have a cross on the barren land it was not that easy to educate the students bring the student girls outside of the house to teach them but then they took their mission and today many 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 girls are out in the world doing wonderful work i myself know sister maria la was in the college for many years 17 to 19 years 19 years she was there and now all those who have studied from her or under her guidance they are in a good position and that's what our motto is we are not only educators but we are educators through our life so every christian is called to witness christ is not words by our action 
people should know that christ in lives in me and that's what today we are celebrating so on behalf of you all i thank the congregation of mission sisters of ajmer who are serving last 43 years this institution and especially i thank sister marilyn sister mariola and sister anjana who are presently with us working and there are many more sisters who are working in the village in the dispensaries in the hostels hospitals where sometimes they are not even recognized or appreciated their work but then god who is unseen will be rewarding that is our prayer now i request all three sisters to just sing a song for us based on christ sing life sing love good luck and best wishes and we request them to pray for us and for our institution